Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So today I'll show you this amazing new compositing technique by using some cool point cloud generator. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So right now we are in Nuke and if you notice this, this is my output and uh, if I stack with my original and you can see this is my real footage and this is my output where I added this cuts on this character's face and if you notice this, these cuts are looking really amazing with some cool 3D depth and all. So let's go through with this uh, simple comp nodes. So this is my master layer or comp you as called and uh, this is the simple simple script. So uh, let's begin first. So uh, we are taking a footage like control C and control V. So this is my fresh new comp footage and let's disable this final master comp layer so that it will not being calculate while I'm working on my new project so press D so it will disable right now okay so now connect with this viewer let's change this viewer position from this box to outside and uh, now this is fine okay so now basic idea is we have to camera track this character which is our camera tracker camera tracker so guys first of all I want to tell you that in front of your screen right now you can see uh, my camera tracking tutorial so I'm not teaching you again camera tracking tutorial in this module because I already have this one so those who guys still not watched go and see link is in description okay so this is just a simple camera track just what you have to do make sure the settings number features should be like around 300 and then just simply camera track and after getting my scene I'll get back to you so the camera tracking is completely done and in right now if you notice that this is my camera tracking node and when I done my camera track I just click this from camera to scene and then just press create now I didn't turn off this link output because whatever I can change anything in my camera and all it will automatically update to this camera so that's why you don't have to add camera in multiple times so it will automatically update that's why I didn't uh, turn off this link output so that's it okay uh, so now what I have to do I have to take a point cloud generator which is our main module is starting from right now okay so just take a point cloud generator so then what we have to do see there is a three options when is camera source and mask the mask is like in this area you should track or point cloud generator will be work so I don't want any kind of mask and all so that's why I didn't use this node tick and but I am using the source pipe and the camera pipe what I have to do I just connect the source pipe to this image output or you can see the source and the camera will go to my this camera so let's come with this and let's connect the camera to this and uh, let's connect my viewer to this to like one okay so then pre just press tab or something like that then just press analyzing my sequence now my frame range is one to one as uh, so one from two to two so just press analyzing sequence the analyze sequence process will be the most fastest one it will not not take so much time see it's taking almost around 30 seconds so it, it will very very fast calculating because the main process is point cloud generator be, before doing point cloud it's actually getting generating everything properly for getting some camera informations which I already exported like this so this is my main camera and now the analyze sequence process is done so now what I have to do we have to doing our next step which is the tracking points which is the most time tracking process so what you have to do you just press track points so when you click track points the execute window will pop up over there you have to select your frame range I'm taking my frame range from uh, uh, input to global so now it's one two one uh, two 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 and then just simply press ok so when you press ok it start working uh, for taking some tracking points now it will take lots of times so I'll get back to you when that entire tracking model will be done okay so now if you notice this our point cloud generating track point process is done and uh, this is our final output when you see this this is completely looking really great now if you notice there are so many red dots and all so this is the dots which dots are not getting tracked properly so what do you have to do first of all I'm just going from here to camera and taking this so if you play this footage you can see this is our exactly point cloud data and uh, I'm just showing you like this now what happened with this red dots very simple we have to delete this red dot because those are not required so from here delete those rejected points 
so now it's rejected points are deleted so those are points right now in front of your screen those points are getting tracked entirely proper so and if you notice this uh, this is really nice output I have to moving forward so what I have to do I'm from here from going to default and turn off my camera options and now I am going little more in depth so what i have to do i have to take from here some node selection to vertex selection so when you turn on this vertex selection it's looking really horror so don't be confused because this is not a big deal there are so many vertexes actually you can see now in front of your screen so now what i have to do i have to take few vertex like i want this face area i don't know if you can see or not but i can exactly feel that this is a face so what i have to do i'm just taking as a random shapes like this just select it like this now see this incomplete face area is right now selected and uh, when you're happy with your selection you can select like this uh, as well this as well by pressing shift you can select so many different different points and all but i want this completely so i want it like this okay so let's select it yes fine so these other areas okay this is too much so let's okay fine uh these areas are not required so let's take it yep this is fine okay so this almost face is covering right now and now what i have to do i have to go to this group option over there this kind of vertices i want to getting uh, some inside of a group so what you have to do some create a group option so just click this when you click this this uh, particles will be go to in a group if you want you can change it to name so like i'm taking like a face and if you want to change this colors you can change it from any time okay so now go to this from here again node selection now if you notice this red dots are in group which is this one if you turn this off you can actually delete those particles like this so i didn't want this i want this group options selected and then just go down bake selected group to mesh okay so i want this bake group to a mesh okay so just click this when you click this it will calculate because it will calculate for a continue whole sequence so it will take a little bit of time so now it's ready so this is our mesh model so let's connect to this camera view so let's press one so now if you notice this mesh is behind of this see this is a mesh so just disable this point cloud by pressing d so now if you notice this is our complete mesh which is exactly our face model okay so now this model is done so let's connect to this and now if you notice this is our main scenario so now disable this uh, point uh, tracking point so let's press D now this is fine now what I have to do when you connect with this and now I want to be add those marks on that character's face by using this mesh model then how we can do we have to do some projection on this mesh okay so first of all what you have to do I'm just uh, taking a, my PNG rough cuts of those marks so I have already so this is my marks cuts which I already added in my previous comp so let's select this backdrop by pressing ctrl C and uh, take it like ctrl V okay so now I'm delete all this color corrections and all so let's delete like this and let's turn this on so when I connect to this so this is my cuts okay so I have to put this cut on that character's face so now what I have to do I have to take this backdrop little down and let's take a project 3d node which is be like this so now I added this project sorry okay so now the project 3d node have uh, two output which is camera uh, and which is the main image sequence if you, if you notice this so what I have to do I just have to take a frame hold okay so the frame hold means when the camera will connect to this frame hold that frame hold is actually uh, giving information to this project 3d node that which frame should be project to this mesh okay so I'm just connect to this frame hold to this camera and let's go to the first frame because I want to the first frame as my projection frame so just place like first frame just press one and then just press this connect to the camera like this and uh, this image uh, sorry this uh, mesh should go to this scene okay because this is a geo so it will go to this one okay and now this image if you notice this image option will be there so this image will be connect to this and this option will be connect to this so it means like I'm telling you in detail the how and what I am doing so the thing is this is the image this image will project via project 3d node by using this camera on the particular frame by using this frame hold on this mesh and this is coming to the scene 
I hope you actually getting clear. Okay, now we have to take a scanline renderer. If you if you all know about camera tracking, we have to take a scanline renderer. So let's take a scanline renderer for 2D output. So now connect to this camera to this camera and uh, this object or scene to the scene and simply press one. So now when you press one, if you notice this actually game projected. So let's go to the 3D. Now see this is actually getting project. Now if you notice this project 3d node is actually projecting this entire image from front side to back side because the projection mode is in both sides so what you have to do from both sides you have to turn it on to front so when you take it front now see the back side is getting darker so it means the back side will not be projected right now okay so now what i have to do you have to adjust by using this transform node to get a proper shape and all so i'm taking a transform node and then just press tab so now what if you notice there's nothing input is visible here so what you have to do press m for merge and now this projection mode no, sorry node will be top of this so this a will be going to the scanline renderer and the b will be our background so connect to this and then simply press one now you can see this is actually getting projected on this uh, surface now what I have to do, you have to adjust by using this transform node. So let's scale this down. So just scale it down almost like this and then just simply drag and drop to here. So now if you notice this cut it's are looking really awesome. So what you have to do, you have to fix this cuts positions. So let's uh, decrease the scale a little bit more like this and let's move it like this. This is fine. Let's move it a little more down the scale. Yep, this is fine rotate it a little bit so that it will look really well now great okay so now what you have to do just simply press play now see this is actually st stick on this own space now if you notice that a little more getting sh should be fixes so what you have to do you have to fix this so by using this transform node i am again turning this shape scale a little bit down so that it will be fixed yes this is nice okay so now let's play it again now if you notice this is exactly stacked on this own space and now what you have to do you have to match this two colors like this skin color and this skin colors are a little bit different so what you have to do by using this some cool color correction we have to adjust those colors so first of all i am taking this frame as my reference frame and taking a g for grade and simply just doing my color correction so what you have to do i am just going to this gain and uh, simply go down a little bit blue so now if you notice when you turn this blue down the colors are almost getting matching and uh, then red should go a little more down so that yep this is fine now green if you want let's check the green is working or not yes when you turn this green little, little very less and this is fine now turn this off and now i'm w working with this white point and the black point so let's increase this white point a little bit so that it's adjusting properly and now it is almost fine now you, you are taking so much time to get it properly so now what i have to do i already have those color corrections great great so let's these two just select this and simply getting traced and i'm just delete this my uh, right now what i am did and then i just put this my previous grades to this here so let's connect with this just press here connect and simply connect so now if you notice this color correction are much better than my previous output okay so <clears throat> what you have to do now if you play this footage like this see this is actually getting stick on his own space so this is the cool ways that how you can create this kind of cool comping process and uh, by using this cool point cloud data now the most last part is if you notice this character is right now in defocus so what you have to do we have to take a blur node and simply make it animate so just press set key now in first frame let's make it like two so now the blurs are same now go to almost like 11th number frame or 15th number 14 number frame let's make it to one because it think no this is one is too much let's make it 1.5 still in blur now in 26th frame let's make it one and almost like 36th frame let's make it zero so now it's in focus so in this way you can actually being animate this uh, marks depth of field or changing the focus to defocus of defocus to focus this is the thing okay after that you can add your final color correction or just simply press play so when the output will done it will look like exactly this in front of your screen
Okay guys, I hope you really enjoyed this my first new compositing technique by using this amazing point cloud data. Now you can tell me that you can use so many process for this output. Yes, you can do it by using so many others way but this is another way guys. So if you wish you can use this because the output ratio will be the more accurate than your previous output or your any other technique because this is a point cloud data and if you really love this video and enjoy this video then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and what you have to do you have to share this video as much as you can on your social media network and guys we are very near to cross 10k subscribers on youtube so thank you for giving me so much love and support and i hope in future i can give you a more beautiful tutorials like this okay guys i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy bye bye keep rocking physics world